part of our shtick. Right. What Go am on. I talking about? Go on. You can't change the structure, so you're basically changing the mattress, the curtains, mm-hmm. the sheets. There's a lot of restrictions on what you can do. The White House. Correct. <laughs> but it could be the Celebrity Big Brother house as uh, well. Yeah, that's true. Actually. That's true, actually. Yeah, you still get the same old comps. <laughs> the same old nuclear wars. <laughs> and Omar Racer said, Melania is amazing. Oh, uh, yeah. She, what did she say about her? She's really clever or something. Mm. She looks <laughs> evil, don't she? Evil? Yeah. She looks evil to me. That's because, like, we used to Eastern Europeans being baddies. And oh, no, films. I'm racist. <laughs> Fuck. I take it back. She looks delightful. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, Meta goes, oh, is the basketball court still there? Because Obama put a basketball court in. Yeah, and then he went, in. he's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> um, so then we're t- still talking about Shannon going. They said they should put Mark up as a pawn or did they say that or did I say that fuck knows um, <laughs> and then I think I might have been drunk when I watched this episode I think that might be the problem um, maybe it's a possibility Shannon said who said to put Mark up as a pawn no they were they did start to talk about it were they debating it. about that but I can't remember who said it let's have a look Marissa said that they let Kesha go for bigger reasons than the game Keisha, Keisha. <laughs> for the breast milk and then Brandy came out with some snark being like whatever yeah um so Ross was being like, oh, I mean, it's up to her. It's Ari, right? Mm-hmm. And then goes, I think you nominate Amor- Amorosa and mm. Mark. Like, it's up to you, but okay, I think you nominate yeah. Amorosa okay, and Mark. Yeah. Kind of like putting the idea out there. What do one you... of them wins the Power of Beta and we take one off. Mm. Why are they putting Mark up, though? Just as porn. Oh, so it's definitely Amorosa? Yeah. Okay. What no, you it's not ask Amorosa. Me? It's Shannon. They're trying to get rid of Shannon. No, he was wanting them to nominate Amorosa really? and Mark. Oh, yeah, they want to get Shannon now, don't yeah. they? Yeah. And then they were going to backdoor... He started to say they were going to back, they should backdoor Shannon. Yeah. I thought it was a bit odd the way they just put her up out, outright. I was going to say, do you still like Ross and do you still like Marissa? Yes. I find them quite irritating. But I do kind of... I, I like, like it when they like rolled around laughing together. <laughs> <laughs> I like Ross more than I like her, but she's quite irritating. Oh, I like her a lot. The way she talks is quite... I also like... I like the pair of them. Yeah. On After Dark. Like, yeah. when I see them just, just living in yeah. the house and talking. And actually, I noticed that, I don't know which episode this was, but mm. uh, Ross was doing a bit of a Courtney Act style. Oh, yeah. Educating people on oh, transgen- yeah. transgender um, versus oh, yeah. um, drag queens and stuff mm. like that. Who's he explaining that to? You met her or something? Yeah, I think he was. <laughs> I think he actually was. Brilliant. Uh-huh. I don't know, just Marissa, she's like, oh, this popcorn's delicious. She's just like... Oh, Shannon's uh, coconut know. popcorn. Yeah, this is the best popcorn. I've ever tasted it. Oh, shut up. That's <laughs> <laughs> not my finest impression there, admittedly. Um, <laughs> I like it, it just takes the hair off. Oh, uh, yeah, but I, Weird. she was wearing those fucking bunny ears and oh, cat ears or whatever. Also, they are. why are they all wearing, well, not all, but Shannon and Omarosa mm. I've seen wearing Celebrity Big Brother hoodies? Are they? Yeah. Oh, I'd like one of those. Oh, yeah, I did see someone wearing one of those. Um, <laughs> so then Shannon told James the group are turning on them. And then Shannon says she was being she shunned. Get, oh, she yeah. She started to get a bit pissy, didn't she? Yeah. So she, James wasn't really liking it because she was acting out. She walked in the room and they all just ignored her. And then she went, yeah, I got my answer and walked away. And I think James was like, don't do that. Or was it Mark that was like, don't do that? James. He said, there are other scenarios to win. And then Shannon said in the diary room, I've been attacked since day one. I have no friends in here. I've been attacked since day one. She Hang was on Queen Bee for like three months weeks yeah no, we, three days <laughs> have we been, <laughs> it feels like that long <clears throat> have we missed that bit yet probably when um shannon wanted to go talk to them in the hoh but meta was oh no to be is that I coming up i don't think we've, no that's the next episode i think oh is it <laughs> i think so <laughs> <laughs> shannon's uh i can't remember this um, do you remember Brandy? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Brandy going, what was it? They were talking in the HOH, and Brandy was like, that said, really quickly. And everyone's like, mm. yeah. And mm. she's like, I've got no idea what I was going to say. <laughs> goes, My meds are kicking in. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> oh dear. What meds is she on? Prosecco. No, <laughs> Verb Clico. <laughs> Which, by the way, Xanax, probably. Um, Rowan, in the last podcast, I asked how much does a bottle oh, of yeah. Verbs mm. cost in the US? Mm. She said it's forty nine ninety nine in her local liquor store. Mm. I wonder, do you have to go to the liquor store in America? Can you yeah. not get it in the supermarket? It's like when you go on holiday, you have to go to a separate cigarette, a cigarette shop. We used to have that, though. Yeah, do we? No, like we used to have a separate section in the supermarket mm. where 
when you used to go early in the mm. weekends, it was chained off because it wasn't time. Yeah. Yet. I know, they, we don't have that no more, do no, we? we got you, more liberal. Yeah, because you used to go and try and buy like a bottle of vodka at 4am oh, and they'd be like, no, nah, no, nah, but sometimes they would. <laughs> sometimes they'd, get, they'd go, all right then, I'll just sell it to you. <laughs> Loads of times, actually. Anyway, it's about 35 quid. And she also said, mm. you get 10% off when you buy it in a case. Mm. And it's her go-to gift for housewarmings and dinner parties. Mm. Well, That's you're good, welcome it? here anytime. She gives a good gift, that mm. Rowan, we know. She does. And we give a good gift. Um, <laughs> oh fuck! I haven't done any gifts. Oh, never mind. Just don't mention it. <laughs> <laughs> Laurie's like seething with my gift, guys. Um, what else have you got? I got the girls. I don't know where we are in your notes. But I, I got know, the girls with the H O H talking about putting Shannon up. Mm-hmm. And Brandy said she's a great player, but she's overplayed it. She did overplay it. She has, hasn't she? Yeah. You played yourself. Uh, Brandy in the diary said Shannon wants both Mera and Amorosa to be up on the block. So as long as one of those people are around us, we're good. No one can talk to Ari. Okay. okay. This is when they start to, like, human shield themselves. Yeah, they, I, they always do that. It's annoying. And then I'm, I've got Omarosa said to Shannon, are you campaigning? Well, I'm literally in the in hospital. The hospital. <laughs> literally, literally in the hospital. <laughs> uh, talking to her husband. Oh, yeah. Omarosa got to phone her husband when Bastard she went to the hospital. John Allen Newman. Yep. Right on the blower. She got a phone call. That's, That's not, not right. right. No. It's outside contact. Yeah, I wasn't too she happy. Begs about the question: that. What did Christmas get? Um, a little squeaky noise. <laughs> squeak, squeak, squeak. <laughs> I hate when I see the gifts. When you search BB gifts and you see all those Christmas ones come up, it gives me like a bad feeling. Does it? Yeah. Not just <laughs> Christmas, but just that whole cast. It's like I don't know. It's like bad memories. Wow. Like a like a time you got felt up like down the park or something. It's like that. Hashtag me too. Horrible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel like that when you see those gifts? No, but then I don't really search for BB nineteen gifts. But... I didn't search BB nineteen. You just put <laughs> Big Brother in, and all that shit comes up. Fucking Paul and Christmas and stuff. Do you know what? That I was searching for BB Cam gifts the mm. other day, mm-hmm. and there's one that I want to, mm. to use. Oh yeah, it's the one from some VT where Karen goes like she Boom. gestures like so she just <laughs> yeah. like come here and then yeah. she like flicks it yeah. away uh-huh. but the only one I could find was an edit where like a wave hits afterwards oh, and yeah. takes out the city and I wanted it without the wave oh yeah that one was gone oh, no. who's taking them down Josh Grant uh, ask Al- Josh Grant taking them down ask uh, Alfie Sheldon he might know where you could get the original one <laughs> yeah no he, he's uh, up on his gifts Josh Grant he's not listening to this is he let's be honest he's busy working now yeah. he's on BB Can season when does BB Can start 7th of March Oh fuck! Ain't that soon? Very soon. Fuck! They started teasing stuff all over Twitter. Don't you know, get a break. And Instagram. I, can't, I haven't been looking at Twitter because I've been hiding from spoilers. Arissa has been inviting us to take part in the titles of celeb um, BB Cam Six. Oh yeah. You have to take a video of yourself against the white wall. Oh yeah. With a, <laughs> yeah, with a neutral expression. Oh yeah. Ten to fifteen seconds and just send it to them. You could do it. We should do it. Oh no, I don't want to be on it. I'll cringe. I'll It'll die. Be on the titles. No, I don't want to be on the titles. I'd rather die. No, I've got a face for a podcast thing. Not also being on in other news. Mm. And Josh Grant must have had a long day doing this because mm. Big Brother Canada official account used to even follow me. Then well, used to they unfollowed. It's unfollowed everyone. What? So it's got no followers now. Why? But before. It went to zero followers. Mm. People realise that the people are saying that mm. it was only following the first evictee from every series that was on Twitter. What? So like gradually narrowed it down to only being the first people out. Right. And they're saying that the first people out are going to return. Oh. This se- season. That Which sounds stupid because they're first out for a reason of crap. That sounds ridiculous. But also, why are they the on... the page. People are going crazy about page coming back. Oh, she, did she have blonde hair? Yeah, it's fine. Boring. Um, that, does, that sounds like fake news to me, but why have they unfollowed everyone? Don't know. It's odd. I'm not sure. Why don't we just ask Arissa? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, she's not going to tell <laughs> she us. She won't tell them. <laughs> I, oh. asked, I asked Josh if he'd tell me something. I was like, I won't tell anyone. I oh, said, yeah. no, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no, you're a blabbermouth. Mm. Heard you blabbing shit on your podcast. Yeah, it's like you're gonna get drunk on your podcast. <laughs> oh, he, didn't, he didn't say that. But. Yeah, well, that's what, that was what he I said. I'll just finish a drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's finish this episode, then we'll get another drink. So, Ari nominated. I don't know if you've got anything before that. For fuck's sake. People are metaphobic, and you do that. <laughs> metaphobic? Yeah. Racist. <laughs> <laughs> no, metaphobic's when you don't like people vomiting and stuff. I don't know. 
something like that. Yeah, but some people like that stuff with that noise. It's like no. Kwame was doing those videos of it. What's yeah, it that's called different. A P L S R. People like it. Uh, <laughs> like that room on Big Brother last year. What room? The Apple room. A P P Fringy room. Look, if you want facts and figures, go to another podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I say it every time, and I mean it. Um, right. What was happening? So, so Ari- Shannon was fuming. She couldn't basically talk because Matt was being asleep mm. in there. Um, Aria Adner nominated James and Shannon. Then is that the end of that episode? What no, about Omarosa cooking? Veto. What about Omarosa cooking seven hour beef? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got that. That's good though. I put they should have put Mark up and backdoored Shannon. I thought it was stupid giving Shannon a chance to play for the veto, wasn't it? Yeah. I don't know why they did that. Because she's a strong that. player, which exactly. is what they've all been talking about. But then she goes, oh, I don't have any fight left in me. And then Omarosa said, revenge is a dish best served cold. That is a classic line, isn't it, yeah. from reality TV? I love Omarosa. She's the best. You got anything else from that episode? Yeah, <laughs> I have. <laughs> Go on. Did you notice that yeah. um, during that nomination ceremony... Mm. Shannon was sat there wearing sh- sat there sat there <laughs> wearing dark sunglasses in the house. That shouldn't be allowed. It shouldn't be allowed. Shouldn't no. it? I was going to say that. That's not allowed. You want to our... see the eyes, don't you? That's not allowed on our big brother. No, no. Uncivilized Americans. <laughs> oh, sorry, Becca. <laughs> <laughs> so on to the eviction episode. I might be able to remember this one a bit better. Um, Jembot was wearing a nighty. It's kind of a scarlet one. Oh! Deep, deep salmon. Wait, I... <laughs> dark salmon. <laughs> that is it. Borrowed it off Anne. Yeah. Um, I got something to say about that. It looked, Come on. it looked like her, her boobs had an argument, didn't it? <laughs> Trying to get away from one another, weren't they? Were they? Like Ch- not Chanel, not quite like Chanel. Didn't know she had boobs, so yeah. there was a trace of something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. I did like that tweet that you did, which said. Um, <laughs> If you care more about Julie Chen's <laughs> outfits than strategy. Listen to us. <laughs> Correct. I think. I never hear anyone mention her outfits ever on what? a podcast. Why not? It's oh. hilarious. What about when she had those big um, duster cuffs on? Oh, yeah. People must have talked about yeah, that. Yeah, they do. That's true. <laughs> and I finally listened to some, what is it called again? Julie Girl. Julie, Julie Girl. Girl. Oh, yeah. They've got like a little theme tune at the start, You don't start, like theme tunes on podcasts. What know. do you think about that? <laughs> Give me a break, Dr. Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, th- I actually liked it. Do you know what? He <laughs> sings it. Does he? Yeah, Baby Team North sung of that himself and produces it. He's creative. I liked it. It was good. I like their... their... You like their branding, you said. I like them. I just didn't like the fact that it goes in one ear and out the other. <laughs> yeah. That bit was fucking with my head. Yeah, yeah. But we got a hiss on our podcast now, so hey, whatever. Production values. Yeah, production values have gone shit. We need a new phone. When did you, when you contract up on your phone? I don't have a contract. Oh. I bought mine outright, so I'm oh, stuck with it. Fuck then. Uh, enjoy the hits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because my mic goes up and down. Yeah, the, uh, Steve Jobs is that the Apple guy? Yeah, sort it out. He's um, dead. Oh, well. <laughs> That's why. That's why it's all gone to shit now. Do you know, do you know what? I, <laughs> do you know what I learned about Steve Jobs the other day? Is he, he, uh, was he an arsehole? Was he a nice guy? Uh, well, I don't know about either of those things, <laughs> but apparently he had a phobia of buttons. Ooh. No, we're talking about buttons sounds that like you a, do up your shirt with. Sounds like a Big Brother task. I know, put them in a bath full of <laughs> yeah. them. Um, buttons that you do up clothes with, mm. which is why he used to wear like turtle, is it turtlenecks? Oh, yeah. That all the time. Oh, God. And also, perhaps mm. why the iPhone has got no bu- buttons. Oh, what about, does he like bashing a button during a Big Brother task? Possibly not. <laughs> we'll never know now, sadly. Well, Mississippi. <laughs> um, so <coughs> Shannon was crying in the diary room because she'd been put on the block. I noticed James had some chests double. Did you notice that? No, I did not. Oh, he's got had like a low cut, you know, like a JLS top, and he had oh, yeah. stubbly JLS. Che- that yeah, is niche. stubbly chest hair. <laughs> you know JLS listeners. Um, <laughs> if you don't know, get to know. <laughs> don't bother. They, they were good. They had their own condom line. They did with Durex. Mm, mm. Sexy. Um, Brandy said to. Hey. <laughs> would you that? come to my funeral? <laughs> What's that? Like One of those songs, yeah. Like, would you come to my funeral? Yeah. It's a bit morbid. Um, so Brandy said to Shannon, the consensus was to put you and James up. Shannon said, she, I'm more upset with Marissa and Ross. They won't be getting my vote at the end. Uh, yeah, she was. She kept using that, didn't she? Because she knew she was going. That's all she really had left. How 
much do you think outside because think about it there's no jury house yeah so how much do you think outside influences such as twitter friends and family yeah. etc is going to influence people's votes the jury